Hello all! Tonight we have Liebe Green's My Loco True Scale 1764 O Gauge Hudson. Sand cast aluminum and brass. This was introduced at the World's Fair in Chicago 1934 in the Home and Garden section. He came out with a reasonably priced kit. So for around $60 you could buy this and put it together. Um, we're running with outside third rail. You have manual reverse down here. This was dialed up for an exhibit, so it's polished aluminum and then brass details. He also came out with a line of cars. Passenger cars are one Pullman with the uh, two-piece aluminum body. So you have a seam here on the top of the, the roof. And so each side of the car is one piece, then put together. These cars are dated from 1935 from May. And the engine would be from uh, late 34. So, let's see how she goes. Off she goes. And then we'll stop here for a minute. I mentioned it was 1764, which is the proper scale for the O gauge. The little engine next to it is a quarter inch engine, which most O gauge is. This is a um, Fred Icken engine, dating from about the same time, about 1934-35, again outside third rail manual reverse, but again you can see the massiveness of the 1764 and how they sit on the rail. Once you see it, you never go back. Liebe Green marketed this engine here as a alternative to spending a premium for like an Icken or an Alexander. This engine would set you back around $200. Again, this a mere quarter of that price. Um, and Lee B. Green wanted to up his ante because this being uh, cast aluminum there are no rivets so there's only so much detail you can get on it he wanted to go to die cast so let's move up again and now we have a My Loco with rivets unfortunately Lee B. Green was not able to raise enough money to pay for the dyes that were done by Congress Tool and Dye up in Detroit. So he ended up losing his company to Congress Tool and Dye, who found themselves kind of by accident in the model train business in 1937 because Levy Green defaulted on being able to pay for the, the tooling. So Congress Tool and Dye renamed their company into Miniscale producing uh, two passenger cars and three freight cars. So let's run the engine here, fire it up forward, and off we go. Okay, here comes the My Loco Hudson and the passenger cars. And behind it we have the My Loco K5, the second engine that they made. Thank you very much for watching. See my other videos to see the My Loco K5 in action.